Well, from laugh out loud comedies to monumental musicals, Broadway is bustling this fall with something for everyone. And here with highlights of what to see now and what's coming down the road is our friend Julie James from Sirius XM's On Broadway Channel. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sarah. We were just saying before this, we got a lot to cover. Oh, there's so a let's lot get going on. It. There is a lot going on. Let's start out with the, the newest news that Spamala is now in previews. Yes, right? what just last expect? night they started their silliness, comedy geniuses like Tony Winner, James Monroe. Iglehart, multi-nominee Christopher Fitzgerald, and a whole host of just, I mean, you know what you're going to get with Monty Python. Yes, back a lot of Broadway. laughs. Yes, yes, and a lot of ridiculousness, <laughs> which is what we all need right now. I feel escapism is uh, the order of the day. I think so, too. Another comedy that's getting a lot of buzz is Gutenberg the Musical, which is reuniting Andrew Rannells and Josh Gad. Josh Gad back on Broadway for the first time since the Book of Mormon. Oh and they have solidified their comedy duo Gold. legend. Yes. yes, they're now in the in the legendary category of pairs like Harvey Corman and Tim Conway, yes. um, Broderick and Lane, uh, Abbott and Costello. I mean, they are just magic together. You have to see them do this crazy musical together. I cannot wait to see that. I haven't been able to get tickets yet. Yeah. <laughs> on that. But a lot of people are curious, too, about Barry Manilow's Harmony. Have yes, you seen it? I have. I saw it in the downtown production. I'm going any minute now um, to the Broadway at the Ethel Barrymore. 1920s and 30s, I mean, think of like the most major boy band ever, the comedian Harmonists. They sold millions of records. They were in movies. They were touring the world. And by 1935, no one ever heard from them again. Yeah. Because uh, three of their members were Jewish and they were caught up in Nazi Germany. Oh and, uh, you know, it's it's a bittersweet story. It's timely, unfortunately. Um, it has a beautiful music and story by Bruce Sussman and Barry Manilow. And some Broadway favorites like Sierra Bogus and Funny Girls Julie Benko. Oh, fantastic. Well, we're also having like this Sondheim renaissance yes. that's going on right now, and that includes Merrily We Roll Along. Why is this so um, important? Why is this such a big deal? It's the one that got away. It ran only 16 performances in its original production. So it's the one that everyone has always wanted to fix. Yeah. And its incredible cast recording created a, a, a belovedness. And so it's the one that everybody has always wanted to succeed. Three beloved stars are doing it. And a bittersweet story of how friendship and love changes over, over a lifetime. Yeah, and another revival, first ever revival, is Pearly Victorious. Yes. Ossie Davis wrote this play in the 1960s. It's never been back on Broadway. Um, Leslie Odom Jr. first returned to Broadway since, since Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. He and Kara Davis, I mean, it's like crackling popcorn when they get going with that text on the stage. You just have to watch that popcorn crackle. Oh, I love that. <laughs> well, and appropriate with Sarah Paulson. What can you tell us about yeah, that? Yeah, that one's one to watch. It's coming in at the end of the month. Um, brand new Broadway debut for the playwright. Broadway debut for uh, screen star Elle Fanning and a cast oh. led by the amazing Sarah Paulson. I love her. Mm. And big casting news of the week is that there's a bunch of new faces coming to Fleet Street, Fleet uh, Street. with Sweeney Todd. Yes, if you didn't know who they would ever get to replace Josh Groban right. and Annalie Ashford, now we know it's going to be Tony Winners, Aaron Tveit, and right. Sutton Foster. Look at that sexy photo. Oh my, it's going to be yes. so good. The pies are going to be hot. Yes. <laughs> um, all right, well, looking ahead for spring, what new musicals should we be looking out for? What's on, our, on your radar I right always now? love to put a look ahead on the on the radar for you. Um, uh, there are a couple of really exciting novels and movies that are adapted for Broadway, like The Notebook and Water for Elephants. Those are all coming. And the spicy revival of Cabaret. Oh. That was just a huge hit in London, led by Eddie Redmayne. That's coming in. And, um, and then, Is he coming with it? Yes, he oh, is. fantastic. Eddie I Redmayne's love him. on Broadway. And The Wiz. The Wiz is coming back, and everybody loves The Wiz. Absolutely. So many great things to see yes. for the best of Broadway and all your favorite show tunes. Head to the On Broadway channel on Sirius XM and follow Julie at Julie underscore James. Thanks, Thanks Julie. Sarah. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. And